Hello everyone, welcome to another skill form tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to display your weapon's ammo count and maximum ammo count on the weapon itself something similar to this this is from the game Doom Tree. so let's begin I have a gun model here, it was downloaded from the internet while I was searching for a free gun model and this one looks pretty cool I have a plane mesh attached to this weapon which is just different material ID. This whole gun mesh has a material ID of 1 and this plane mesh has a material ID of 2. So we'll select it. It's just rigged to one single bone. No fancy animations. I'll go to export. Export selected. Sniper and Scott 2. Okay. Make sure smoothing groups is checked. And the x tool. Okay. So in UDK, I'll open up the content browser and I'll import. Uh, where was it? UDK sets. Skill form with tutorial sniper scope 2. And I'll set the package to phone. no grouping so just press ok so it has finished importing I'll right click and select save and I'll just save it here I'll right click the package flip over it flip over it Alright, so now we will jump into uh, Adobe Flash. We'll create a new action script too and set the size to 320 into 128. I'll set the stage color to dark gray and I'll new text file 000 by 000. Place it in the middle and let's uh, save the file. Go to G K twenty twelve the game flash. Create a new folder to scale form. Uh, we'll type in to scale form. We'll go to popular settings. We don't want the HTML wrapper. We'll set the flash player to 8. And press OK and test it. It's cool. It's OK. Now, if you get a warning saying that fonts needs to be embedded, simply select your font here. Uh, OK, I forgot to set the instance name. Let's give it an instance name of weapon ammo. Make sure it's a dynamic text. Test it with GFX Media Player. And now, here you can see fonts should be embedded for any text that may be added at runtime, blah, blah, blah. So, to remove that error, select your text. So, input character ranges all and TMS, whatever name you want. Press OK. And then test with GFX Media Player. And that error should go away now. So, that's our flash part. We won't be opening the flash anymore. So now let's import it. Make a game flash. To skill form. Okay. Now right click and save. Now let's create a new texture render target 2D. And name it ammo underscore trt 2d. Press OK. Close it. Right click new material to scale form underscore map. Press OK. And we will set the before that. Select the texture render target 2d. Right click texture 
new texture sample and set the blend mode to alpha composite and light model to unlit plug the opacity and MSE press OK and close it. right click and save package So that's it. Now let's jump into Unreal Script and start scripting. I have opened Unreal X Editor. Now go to New File. We will first create a new GFX Movie Player that we will use with the Texture Render Target 2D that we just now created. So class to scale form and mode display extends GFX movie player we'll, we'll create a new variable GFX object ammo count and create a new simulated function in it in the parentheses we'll type optional local player player and we will set the timing mode to tm underscore game and start there are two types of timing mode that is tm game and real when you set to tm game then it will respect the uh, game pause and time dilation and if you set to real then it will just simply ignore it now, let's go to let's create another simulated function Bool start optional Bool start past is equal to false and in this block we will type super dot Start and events, and we will assign our ammo count is equal to get a variable object underscore root dot weapon ammo. So what we did is we assigned this weapon ammo to the ammo count variable that we declared here. And now let's create another function set ammo text. And we will add two parameters count and integer max count. Inside this set ammo text function, we will type ammo ammo count dot set string open close parentheses text comma count dollar sign by another dollar sign and max count. All right. Then we will add our default properties inside the tech movie info. We will assign this movie, copy full name, paste it, be enable gamma correction is equal to false and render texture mode is equal to rtm underscore alpha composite right. now let's save this display save it g saving in my mode folder save it 
now let's create another class for a weapon to scale from weapon to scale from weapon extends ut weapon <coughs> we will need two variables one is texture render target 2d render texture and we will add another that is the two scale form ammo display and that is gun display now we will add another simulated function post begin play inside this post begin play we will initiate the uh, gun display so we will tap super dot post begin play and render texture texture is equal to we will use this one here We will initiate this to scale for manual display. So for that, we will type gun display is equal to uh, new class uh, my mode because that's where I saved it to scale form. Ammo display. Gun display dot get player controller that is get PC and gun display dot render texture is equal to render texture and finally we will initiate our gun display. So what we did is we assigned the uh, tube scale for ammo display to gun display variable here, and then we used get PC function to get the player controller of this movie, and then we assigned this render texture to the gun display render texture, and this texture will be used to render the movie, and then we initiate the gun display. And now we want another function render ammo display display and here we will type gun display dot set we will use this function here set ammo text we will type set ammo text ammo count and max and count. Alright, now we will create another function tick flow delta time. And in here we will render ammo display. dot tick delta time. Now I'll just go on and add some default properties. I'll pause the video. Alright, I have added the default properties and I saved the file in my mode class. And as you can see I set the max ammo count to 320 and ammo count to 32. Now before we compile we will right click on material, copy from name, open up the skeleton mesh and inside the material ID 1, that is the plane mesh here I'll assign the material and close it right click and save it alright now
close it and compile. Missing return value. Oh, sorry about that. We will need to return true here and now compile. Okay, compile was successful. Now let's start in real. Let's go to full properties, set game type for pi to any game. I'm setting it to UD that match. And then go to Kismet. And we'll right click and select new player spawn event. Right click new action on game inventory and new variable player player we will assign the target to all players we will leave the inventory clear existing and set to to scale from web close it and let's see as you can see the i'm not sure if you can see it but it's working fine just a second okay well here you can see the weapon ammo and maximum ammo count being displayed on the weapon. Let's adjust the color, open up the content browser, to scale from material. We will right click and okay, just give a new multiply node. A and we will just maximize the blue and to increase the intensity we will add another constant and a new multiply plug it in plug it in and add it to and save set the value to about 5 now blue color and it's working good so that's all for now if you are stuck or if you want any help feel free to contact me and I'll be glad to help you out thank you for watching have a nice day